the scariest story was that Mr. Bowman's family died and he spent the remaining years of his own life living alone in that haunted mansion looking for alchemical formulas and rituals that might bring his family back to life. As I was standing here waiting, you know, in the dark, um, I suddenly felt what felt like these three little taps on my head. And then, you know, had that sort of sensation that you get sometimes that, you know, someone's like right around you. But of course, I was all alone here. They would hear what they thought were footsteps on the stairs when nobody was out of bed. And then there's the stories about a baby crying. It still had servants back after he died. They were to set the table in case he and his wife came back and wanted a meal. I've been in, in the house. I'll never go at nighttime unless there's a lot of people here and there's a lot of light because it's just too spooky for me. This place, I think it's kind of a magnet for ghost stories. Join us this Halloween as we explore some of the region's most haunted houses on the next New England Legends.